Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review, and next up is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Baroness with Cobra Coil. Wait, that's not the Baroness that you guys came here to see. There it is. Oh, the Cobra Island Target exclusive Baroness with Cobra Coil. So I got it. I woke up this morning, checked Pop Finder as I do every morning or have been doing every morning. So a couple of stores kind of a distance away had gotten it, so not quite... Um, Northern California when you think about it, but Los Banos and Merced got it. I took the gamble and went to Merced because it showed they had six. Uh, so I drove out there um, and luckily enough, I was able to get one. There was a group of people, so I was not, it was not just me. There were several others that were there to pick it up, but I was able to get my hands on one. So I am very excited. Full disclosure, I got actually two, but um, I hooked up a buddy that hooked me up with uh, Wave 2 of the G.I. Joe Classified Series. So Paul Lutz um, has really been uh, very helpful in finding things for me. So um, I got him a Baroness. So they are out there. Um, everyone's been asking if I can help. I, I wish I could help everyone everybody but I just unfortunately I cannot but I wish I could I wish everybody the best of luck out there in their hunts to get Baroness so um, you know keep an eye on pop finder keep an eye on target.com uh, I hope that you guys are able to get her but she is fantastic looking the accessories look really great the artwork on the package just looks awesome look at this art artwork of Baroness on the Cobra coil there we get this little Cobra uh, laser gun thing that's gonna wrap around her arm just all kinds of great things looking at the side artwork which I can't even show whole because of the uh, the package is just so large, I can't fit it in frame, but just look how awesome that looks. This is number 13 in the G.I. Joe Classified Series line. Look at the back of the package. We kind of had the same look with all the other special missions, Cobra Island figures, Roadblock, Beachhead, and um, the Cobra Trooper, but this gives us an entire full view there, so that's not kind of cut off or anything. So pretty cool. Cobra logo up at the top, 13 there. Uh, there is the UPC if you guys want to check it, but the DPCI is 0871649333. So keep an eye on Pop Finder. Without further ado, let's open it up. Okay, and here is Baroness out of the package. Ooh, this is a very good set. I decided to change the background. Green was a little bit bright, so I went with a little bit lighter color. Went with the blue. So before I do everything, there is some assembly required for the co the, the coil motorcycle. Well, not a whole lot. It's just the right handlebar. Now I. I did watch E. Rivera 94's review and he said he had some trouble. He had to heat this up, he had to heat up the motorcycle and I've seen some posts on Facebook saying that people were having difficulties with it or whatever. So um, I'm gonna try real quick on camera to show you guys what the problem with that is and see if I can get it on camera but I'm not gonna spend too much time uh, going over it because um, I just don't wanna spend that much time on it because it's probably gonna be a long video um, already. So it's on a ball peg and there's a hole there and you just poured it in. The problem is as you can see that ball peg is quite large compared to that hole so how do you fit it in insert whatever jokes you want there so I'm gonna try and force it a little bit here on camera and it's not really wanting to budge so I may have to heat that up um, I'll probably try it a couple more times right now off camera to do it but um, that is difficult so I would say be careful because you know the brake um, handle on there is kind of thin so you don't want to like accidentally snap this in half or warp it too much or anything but um, so just be aware of that it is it is quite difficult so I'll put that on there and then we'll take a closer look at what's going on here real quick and you just have to do a little bit of force and it'll snap right in place okay so first let's look at the Cobra coil motorcycle um, and this thing looks really good so unlike what we see with Marvel Legends and the riders line there's some actual paint details going on with the motorcycle itself where is on Legends, um, just to show you an example, I have uh, the Punisher here. Um, that was just done in literally all black. There was hardly any paint going on with that, which I know is just one example. But then you have like uh, the Wolverine right there, which is blue, and then all the engine parts and everything are just cast in um, gray plastic. But no paint details going on there whatsoever. The Cobra Coil though, we're, that's a different situation. We actually got some paint going on in here. So lots of nice details which we just, I wish we would get with other things in, in, in Legends, but you know, G.I. Joe is is getting a lot more stuff going on, better articulation and everything. So we get a little yellow stripe right there on the wheel, it's all black. The tires are rubber, so that is a very good thing unlike Power Rangers Lightning Collection which uses a damn hard plastic. Anyway, we get some black right design here on the fender. 
So that is pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see that it actually has a zero one. The guns that she comes with actually port on into the coil. There's these peg holes there. They just port on there. They have the pegs on them. Um, but looking at the, the engine, we actually get some silver paint, so it's not just gray plastic, it's actual silver paint in there. Uh, the black parts are definitely, you know, just the plastic. We get some painted red going on here, so that all looks really nice. We get that Cobra logo right there, and that's printed on and applied very nicely. Uh, we get some green color right there for the gauges. Um, the windshield, we get some translucent uh, color with some green kind of paint to kind of give it that reflective look. So that is really nice. Some silver and black paint right there in the front. This side is the side that has all the screws and everything. And you know what? There's still paint on this side. How awesome is that? We get the paint on the fender just as the other side here on the back of the wheel. Um, it actually says 5,000 right there. So uh, lots of really good looking stuff. So we zoom in there, see that 5,000. Just nice detail, even on the screw side. So this is usually like legends would be all like plain. They wouldn't even bother painting because you're always gonna wanna look at it from this side, but just awesome looking details all across. Really nice, here's that 5,000. That fender that I was mentioning earlier. The Cobra logo, it is just done so nice. Oh, I really like it, the exhaust there. I really like this. I know a lot of people um, don't really like the design of it. I think it looks great though. Just look at it. So nice. Detail wise and everything, I guess the overall design's a little iffy, uh, but the design, the execution of it is done very, very well. Now let's take a close look at Baroness. Okay, so there is an up close look at Baroness. Now uh, the head sculpt, um, I think it looks good. I don't think it's the greatest. There's something about the facial features of it that they did. Um, kind of a narrow, tall face. I don't know what it is. I, some, a lot of people have commented something about her looking like Lisa Loeb, I think. Now I don't actually know who that is, so whoops. Um, but that's what some people have said. I've seen that more than one time. Uh, but sure, I guess if that looks like her. I don't know. There's something about it. I think skin tone looks good. Um, the lipstick on there is really nice. It's just something about the facial features of the head. Maybe she's got too much of a five head for me going on. Um, it's hard for me to kind of pinpoint, but I don't... It, it's not that it's bad. Look, like it looks great from the side. There's just something about the features of the cheekbone and jawline that just seem a little off to me. But maybe that's just me. But you guys, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on it. Uh, Cobra logo there in the front looks really nice and clean. The red paint on there on the belt, red paint, nice. The gauntlet forearm pieces really nice on both sides. The suit is really nice because it's not just all black like I had originally thought. We actually get some of this gray um, color going on throughout the figure, even there on the back of the figure. And that's actually textured to kind of give it like a scaly look. Um, she is part of Cobra after all, so that is pretty cool. The accessories that she comes with are very nice. We actually get this Cobra dagger here. I really like the way that looks. It's just done in all black plastic for the blade, but the Cobra is done in gold paint and that looks really, really nice. The problem though is the sheath on her left leg, um, it sits in there very loose, so it'll fall out on its own or not. See, maybe because the, the holster, we're holding that Okay, well maybe I'm wrong, it holds in there pretty nice. It feels really, really loose though. Like it just doesn't wanna stay in there. So be aware of that. We get two holsters right there for her guns. So she comes with two hand pistols. These are quite nice. As you can see, they are both the exact same the way it's sculpted. They are uh, both in gold paint. So not gold plastic, gold paint. And they look really good. Um, the two of them are the exact same. Of course, and you can see they holster again, right? Um, in the back there. Um, as far as additional accessories, she comes with a bike helmet, alternate head, and this really reminds me of like a Power Rangers helmet, so I might actually see if this fits on a Power Rangers uh, female figure. I'm just completely curious at how it would look, but that is all done nicely. There's no paint on there whatsoever, but it's done in kind of a glossy black color. Or well, the visor is done in a glossy black color, but the rest of the helmet um, is kind of a matte finish, but I think that looks really good. It has a snake design. I'm not sure how well you could see it, like with the glare and everything, but like right there, you could see the tooth of the snake. So that is really cool, and you got both of them. There were the fangs 
um, of the snake. So that is done really nicely. And then we get two additional weapons for the Cobra uh, Coil motorcycle. Again, these peg in there. So they aren't the same. Well, they are the same, but they're, you know, they're mirrored because they're going to port on to different sides of the Cobra Coil, of course. So with the two pegs, but they are done nicely, as you can see there. Sculpt of it is quite nice. And they look great when actually attached to the motorcycle. So there we go. But back to Baroness, she looks really good. Now let's take a look at her articulation. Before the articulation, I forgot to show you guys the, the Cobra uh, laser blaster th kind of thing. So on the package art, the box, it actually shows a laser coming out of this. This done is this is done really nicely. Uh, the sculpt of it is quite nice. Kind of coils around her arm. It's done in a silver paint. And we get some gold paint going on in there uh, of the Cobra. And then some red paint for the eye design there and gold at the top. This is quite nice right there. I really like the way that looks. And again, it just kind of coils into her arm. You can kind of move it around like so, depending on how you kind of want to have it, but it just coils right onto her arm like so, and she could use it as a blaster. So that is really cool. And then I also forgot to show you guys the head swap with the helmeted head. So there is Baroness. We're gonna pop the head off. That's weird, black ball peg. They didn't even do it as the skin tone. And then we're gonna pop the helmet on. Oh, that was kind of weird. It didn't really pop on it. It felt like I'm it felt like I was squishing it on there. So that was kind of weird, but that looks really good. Looks like a real bike motorcycle helmet. So that's pretty cool. I still think it has a Power Rangers-esque look to it, or you know, I guess a Power Ranger helmet would rep kind of more resemble a motorcycle helmet. Uh, but there it is. So that looks really good like that. So I'll get some more shots of her on the bike with that head on there. But back to the articulation. Okay, so to kick off the articulation, we're going to start with the helmeted head so you can see the movement that she can do with the helmet. So she can look down, and then with the helmet, she's actually able to look up. So depending on how she's riding the motorcycle, she'll be able to look up. So that is good. The problem, though, is when we switch the heads and put um, the hair her normal unhelmeted head back on there very limited so she can look down but she's not going to look up because her hair is super long and it's just going to get in the way and then you can do um, rotation and what have you uh, but it's it's hard because you can only do that there now there's the neck ball hinge for the neck itself so you can hinge it to go down and then the neck on the um on the body actually has its own joint like the other gi joe so you can get your own independent moving movement going on in there as well so you can get it, some kind of circular motion as well so shoulders go up that high which is really good she has these shoulder pads but they're keyed into like the butterfly joint area so it's not going to hinder or really get in the way but as you see when you ro rotate the shoulders up it's not going to get in the way so that is good there so you get that full rotation there is no upper bicep swivel so hasbro being hasbro we got single jointed elbow and a swivel at the elbow for a female figure so you know hasbro being hasbro right even with gi joe damn um single jointed elbow so it gives you 90 degree bend you're not going to get any more than that um, out of it the wrists swivel and she has the uh vertical hinge that way so that is good there are no interchangeable hands with her unfortunately uh, we get the upper diaphragm rocker as you can see there so you can get some circular motion you can pivot her to the side pivot her to the other side you can go back quite a bit actually and then coming forward a little bit not a whole lot but you can get her to go back um, and then the waist also has that rocker joint so you can get the twist going on there you can twist it the other side and then you can come forward total that much. You can go back total that much. So that works out really well. So you can get that movement in there. So that is good. The hips do have the drop down hip function as you can see there. Let me get that dagger out of the way. Uh, so without the drop down, she can kick up this high. With the drop down, she can kick up crazy high and off to the side. So that's great um, how they have that. So all the G.I. Joe figures do have that. So that is nice. There is an upper thigh cut there. The sheath can kind of is floating around so you can kind of move it around. We get a double jointed knee like so. No boot swivel, of course. Female figure foot hinges down. 
get a hinge up slightly, not a whole lot of uh, ankle pivot and peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Um, so really nice. And then I didn't mention this earlier, this armor kind of pieces right here in the front of her legs are done in a shiny plastic, whereas the back rest of the boot is done in a more matte color for the boot. That is cool. And then we actually get some gold paint there on the ankle. So um, typical articulation that we see with all the GI Joe figures, but um, with typical female figure fashion, single jointed elbow um, and swivel at the elbow. But she does have butterfly joints too. I forgot to mention that. You don't get a huge um, range of mo movement in there, but she does have that butterfly joint. So articulation is very good on Baroness. Okay, and here is the entire Special Missions Cobra Island subline that is exclusive to Target. We have Beachhead, and that is the blue eyed Beachhead there. We got Roadblock, the Baroness, and Cobra Trooper. So they, for whatever reason, are all Target exclusive. Lots of people are mad about that. Um, they will trickle in slowly, but surely keep an eye on Target.com. Use Pop Finder if you have to, but keep an eye on the store stock. That is in their main planogram set, so it's not something that's gonna be a one and done they will continue to get these figures so again best of luck please be respectful to the target employees as you're out there hunting because they can only know whatever is showing on their little device um, lots of times we end up knowing a little bit more but that's because we have the advantages of like pop finder brick seek or whatever that they don't know and we just assume things based on what we all hear in the community and everything we kind of have that insider knowledge a little bit and of course the employees they're not going to know everything about every item in the store so um just be aware of that but they all look really good so the cobra island figures i'm very pleased with um i definitely think roadblock is probably the weakest out of the bunch because we already had a roadblock so he has that going against him um, but i'm very happy with these cobra troopers still one of my favorite figures of the entire year from across any line um but baroness is probably the best female figure that we've gotten so i'm very pleased with that Okay, and here we have Destro and the Cobra Commander next to Baroness, and of course these two are romantically linked, um, so they look very good together with the very similar color, so like that. Okay, so there is Baroness on the Cobra coil, um, but as you can see with the with the unhelmeted head on there, you can't really tell that she's riding it, right? So she's not seeing where she's going. That's going to end up all bad. Uh, but she sits on there nicely. They have the, the foot stands here with little pegs on them so you could peg her feet in there, um, but she's not going to be able to do that um while sitting down so i'm not sure what the point of that was and to get her her hips wide enough to be able to sit on there properly and peg the feet in there would be quite challenging um, so just a heads up on that okay so i popped the helmeted head on there and there you go she can actually look up to where it looks like she is actually riding it and can see where she can go and i didn't really mention this earlier but the kickstand it folds in um, so you can kind of hide it away and then it folds down. Um, so that's how you can get it to stand. So that looks really, really, really nice. I really like the way that looks. Adding the guns on the side, porting the, pegging them in there. Looks awesome. Just looks absolutely menacing when you have it like a straight on look and you have those guns ready to go. That is a very awesome look to it. So I really like the way this came out looking just like that i am impressed with this so gi joe hasbro knocked it out of the park with these figures i wish everyone could get their hands on i wish it was easily and readily available for everybody because this is an outstanding set that i think any gi joe collector should have so i know i said that you can't really get her feet on there in the way she's sitting to get it to really work um, but I guess you could, it just doesn't really look right and it's awkward because you can't hinge the foot up enough to really get that to peg in there and she doesn't really sit down on there nicely but you can kind of work it a little bit. What I just noticed this too, so the shoulder pads are different, we just kind of get a no normal shoulder pad there, it's a lot larger but then this one, look at that, that's a snake design. That is really nice, that is really cool. So the weapons, you can see Baroness can hold the dagger like so. And she can hold the pistols in either hand, so she comes with two, so she can build, wield them both at the same time. Okay, so wielding these weapons is a little bit trickier to get that trigger finger in place, but she can hold both of these at the same time, but it's just kind of hard to kind of get them 
straight out with the way the arm is because that, that is going to be up against the forearm but you can use those um, as well but I think they do look better um, actually on the motorcycle because those pegs are kind of really visible and for the hell of it I said I would try it and you know what that would make a pretty sweet looking custom Power Ranger helmet if that was something somebody wanted to do I <laughs> it fits on there perfectly look at that Okay, so my final thoughts on the figure. I am very pleased, very happy with it. I think it's a great value for the $40 price tag that it's gonna come with because the motorcycle has crazy details. The accessories are awesome. I mean, we get a laser coil wrap snake. That, how freaking awesome. The, the helmet is great. Um, everything about this figure, I really, really like. The single jointed elbows, uh, that's a bit frustrating, but that's what we get with all the figures. You know, Hasbro always says that they don't wanna sacrifice the aesthetic. Um, on the female figures because of it. We know that the arms are very thin, a double jointed elbow. Not sure how it would look. I know other toy companies have done it, but it's just one of those things. Would it be better? Absolutely. But um, it is what it is. But I think it's a fantastic figure. Nonetheless, hope you guys can get it. Again, the target DPCI is 0871649333. Good luck out there. Use popfinder.com. Uh, be respectful to the employees. Um, so, But you guys let me know down in the comments below um, if you have it already, what your thoughts on this figure are. Um, has it hit your area and you missed it? Let's talk about it. Everything down in the comments below. If you guys like the video, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.